Caden, I wanted to use my last minute effort to explain to you why other particles called monochar cannot exist. And if you understand this one, I believe, and your audience, you, you, you may, your audience may understand, then you understand that the universe is much simpler. I hope from now, I just try to use a few minutes to explain this one to you. Why called the monocharge particles means a negative charge or purely positive charge particle cannot exist. If I convince this this one, the whole whole paradigm, whole universe paradigm will shift. Will, will shift. Assuming this is is an electron. Okay, so and assuming everything we taught from the past are correct, so that means the electron is a negative charge particle. So can you imagine what happens if I hypothetically split them into halves? So then give a guess. What do I get? If an electron is split in half, if an electron an electron with a negative charge is yeah, split in if, half, yeah. If I split two fragments, then I would get a positive charge. Only three options. If you split an electron negative charge get two positive, you violated a charge conservation. How could a charge being being uh, you know uh, from a uh, negative suddenly to positive? Right. This is a phys fundamental physical law. So now. The most logical is what you just said, two negative fragment. Problems. Right. Can you make a two negative charge the fragment? Make it the two original electrons. What, what, what would be holding it together if they're both negative? They would make <laughs> they repel. That's what the Coulomb's law says, right? So that means what that means? That means electron, the negative charged particle, cannot exist in the first place. Does that make sense to you? So yes, far? yes, that makes total sense. I've seen so many BS stories fall apart over the years that now it just makes so much sense. Two negatives, how how are they going to join together? They would be repelling. It wouldn't make any sense. How would they be joined together in the first place? Either negative or positive or neutral. Can they exist? Positive violate the Coulomb's law. If a positive charge particle you split, it, you cannot make back. You violated the called the Coulomb's law, lack of charge repel, right? So positive is part of cannons. What about negative particle? We just mentioned that negative particle cannons. How about a neutral particle? Is that a, is that a possibility we have a neutral particle? It does not have a charge. If it's neutral, what would what would be the energy that would even keep it together in the first place? Well, so now the question is what a water particle can only exist 